Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Fellow citizens, I just want to give you a little update on uh, the status of Honorable Emmanuel Jebanda. As you are aware, today makes it uh, 25 days since he's being hospitalized at uh, Minasoko Hospital. I remember that um, the state had insisted that they take him into a military facility. He has been there for now 25 days. Today, the police decided, under the command of uh, Officer Yui, to go and pick JJ into Sikanze Hospital, which is a police hospital. So they found him uh, at the point when they got into the hospital. Uh, he wished to know JJ as an underlying condition. So they found he had a seizure. Uh, so he was given some medicines to stabilize. They waited for him. They picked him up, put him in a stretcher. On their way out, he had another seizure. He fell off the bed, picked him up um, onto the stretcher. Another seizure, three seizures in the process. They still picked him up, not in an ambulance, but just in an ordinary vehicle and took him into Skanze police facility health facility as we're speaking eh, the place has been sealed off with police officers only to allow the wife um, to go and access him I just thought that thought that I must update you so that you are not wondering what is happening his health condition is extremely dire and like I've stated before these hospitals will not do any good to him. He needed help elsewhere. But what can we do? Otherwise we'll be told to be abductors ourselves. This is human life we are trading with. I have never thought that police officers would help, would act in the way they've acted on JJ this day being the third time they've tried something so inhuman. I'll keep you posted. Don't take it for granted. Let the man walk. Let the man walk. So that is a pandera and a pandera kapokola. kapokola, they know something. And why I'm saying they know something, that statement is implicating. The information that they have released investigators will tell you that it is rare that the police will release such information but that information is meant to lead us into a certain direction we refuse we refuse if you are indeed innocent Vakapukola, do the investigations and give us proper findings not that nonsense that you are trying to play on us you know psychology to take us into a certain direction so that you can alienate this guy. Forget it. Forget it. Just release the guy. And why am I bringing my UPND in? Because some of you, you say, no, why? You're talking about UPND. Hey, why are you concluding it's UPND? It is a no-brainer. It is a no-brainer. It is common knowledge. UPND has been pronouncing, has been vowing, to sort out Edgar Lungu and the people around him. They have been saying this. We have a number of videos, starting with this one, Iso. Starting with this one, Iso. 
Vamirupi. Then this other man who was staying back at Pokola, don't blame us. Don't blame us. He was on radio. You also that there are videos that are everywhere. There are videos that are everywhere. But UPND, you have, you know, openly, openly been talking about sorting out some of us. Sorting out Edgar Lungu. Sorting out people around Edgar Lungu. You have been saying it, Tamufisa no Kufisa. Tamufisa no Kufisa. And JJ Banda is one of those people that you have outrightly spoken about. Outrightly. And the worst thing is that even your president, even your president, is, is actually the one in the forefront to talk about citizens, sorting out citizens. Haka Inde Ichirema has been talking about sorting out citizens. He has spoken about sorting out Kampiongo. He has spoken about sorting out uh, uh, Boma Ndusambo. He has spoken about sorting out uh, Nakachinda. Eh? JJ! Kadas have been talking about JJ. You have been wanting JJ. And some, you know, Liswaniso, Liswaniso said it openly. He said it openly. Liswaniso said, we have sorted out nine, nine words. Next stop is Petauke. Next step, next stop is Petauke. Iwe Liswaniso, what did you mean? What did you mean? Ne because in Petauke there was no by-election. There was no by-election. There are no by-elections. Eh? So why did he mention Petauke? Why did he mention Petauke? Why did he mention Petauke? And how else do we have by-elections? How else do we have by-elections? It is when either a person resigns, a person is, is incapacitated, or a person is no more. A person is normal. That's all. That's all. So you were this one. So why she was shunned and incapacitated? JJ has been a fit guy. We know definitely JJ was not going to resign. We know. So the only thing that makes sense today is what has happened. You you knew what you are talking about, this one is so this one is so this one is so Gilbert this one is so you knew what you are talking about. You knew what you are talking about. Why did you pick on me? Why did you pick on Petauk? And this is the modus operandi of the UPND. This is the modus operandi of the UPND. Haka in the said it. I'm going to sort out Bowman. I'm going to sort out Malanji. And they did. Thank God for them. They used ECZ. They used the cadres at ECZ. To systematically remove Boma Nuzambu and Malanji out of parliament. But for JJ, this is what they have used. This is the route that they want to use. This is the route that they want to use. And we cannot doubt that they don't want to do this. They don't want to eliminate the guy. It is clear. What is, how is come it is clear? It is clear because the police are giving us that kind of indication. And how are they giving us that indication? They are disclosing that we found a note. We found a note. This note, which is written by somebody who wants to end his life. So you see, it is a planned move. It is, they planned it from a long time. They have been looking how they can, they, they can get JJ. They have failed. They have failed. Ba, 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 ba speaker, JJ Ngaiminina, when JJ stands up in parliament, she changes even her face. She changes even her face. Eh? She has bought herself some lightness. But JJ Ngaiminina, Fila Sungunika, 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 that is how much the speaker hate JJ. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. 
Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.